Hi guys, um, I'm sure you have seen my previous video of step by step how to log in into the brand new laptop. As you can see, it's a brand new laptop, uh, HP G9. So like I promised, I'm just gonna make a video on step by step what you have to do security wise when you have a new laptop and how you can make sure you have all the uh, Windows updates are there. So I'm gonna show you what you have to do. So the first thing you have to do when you into the interface like that, it's a brand new setup, everything you have to um, make things arrangements. So first you have to go into the Windows updates. If you write, if you go into the search menu, update, if you write update, U-P-D-A-T-E, if you search here fully, check for updates. So when you check for updates, uh, you have to click here you're gonna see loads of up up updates are there to install the first thing the very first thing you have to do uh, when you get a uh, new laptop you have to make sure you have your laptop is up to date with all the latest updates as you can see they all these updates need to be installed in this laptop because it's brand new and as you can see these all are really important software components firmware uh, system as you can see this is the uh, malicious software removal all these antivirus as well it's it's, it's make you security intelligence update which is linked with the security so you have to wait for these to be completed completed installing downloading so you have to wait for that restart your laptop and then you have to check again if there is any any more left true but you also have to you have to check this as well so you will get the latest update as soon as they're available and what you have to come in this advanced option and you have to check this one as well receive updates from other microsoft products as well get me up to date so this one these posts you need to uh, check as well so, so you know you have all the latest updates coming as well and installing so we'll go back so completed printing install and once it's all done it's going to give you option to restart here as well i'll show you in just first installing so yeah as you can see it's still installing uh sometimes it takes longer to install so what you can do which which i do which my practice is uh, just to foster the process sometimes you have to restart now I'm just gonna restart that now you can see still there are some uh, some updates which are updating as well I want those to install install because how it works is like uh, some updates are stopping the other updates or the newer updates to install because it's like a compatibility uh, issues happen so if this makes sense so that's how it works in IT in these machines in Microsoft because we always do these kind of stuff so uh, let's go it's back up again update check for updates and exact same process just go in there and as you can see some updates are installed which are showing complete and now these ones gonna start installing as well a bit more quicker way um, according to my experience before if if that actually worked like that because some up updates are stopping to install as you can see now it's going if it's a bit more faster these up updates were not installing kind of stuck before now it's installing faster so you're gonna see this uh, this works actually and this is also a tip for you guys whoever are not very tacky or going to install these kind of machines so you can watch this this video i hope it's going to be really helpful as you can see now it's, it's showing pending install completion this one showing pending restart so once it's showing here pending restart this one showing as well here restart now before this wasn't showing so let's let's restart again so just just keep following that uh if it's showing you restart do it because it's trying for a reason to you to to restart so like like i was explaining before some updates are stopping the other one so if that shows you restart 
do it straight away. Uh, so as you can see, it just took maybe a couple of minutes, I would say. One, two minutes hardly. Yeah, so there you go. Back up now, same process. I'm gonna check again and keep repeating until those up updates are fully up to date and you have to make sure fully updated uh, uh, fully your laptop your machine is fully up to date with all the latest updates then you can move to the next step same updates and check for updates i hope it's going to be more quicker now so okay it's downloading now because i would say they, they look it's trying to restart again so i'll just wait a bit a couple of other to complete as well and then i will i will just restart one more time or maybe two more time we'll see now it's it's more quicker look so look this one failed so what you have to do either retry or maybe you have to restart like i was explaining sometime your laptop need those updates like these ones to Oh, that worked. So these ones to install first to install these one. So we'll see now. This one is some seven percent. Sometimes it just uh, stuck uh, for for like hours. <laughs> Again, go on start update. There you go. All those installed, only two left. So I'm just gonna retry again this one. Maybe this one required this one to install. So as you can see, now it's installing. Uh, before it was stuck on seven person, which which like uh, stuck there for like a couple of minutes and now it's installing now we're gonna install this and we'll solve this one as well on this video it's 100% now so I'll just wait for the green signal to show me install okay and this one restart so let me restart first okay check for updates again so error encountered so plug in your device to continue installing updates okay retry all and you can also check the history so when you come here you can see all oh, successful install on this date so if it tells you driver updates and definition update other updates so if it tells you each and everything this is like windows update version okay i just identify the issue it was saying here plug in your device to continue installing because as you can see the battery is about to die so in this situation they need to plug in so i'm just going to plug in I did not pay attention to on that. So I'm just going to plug in that laptop with charging. So as you can see, uh, this is now completed, completed. So this was happening. Maybe that happened with you as well. So because of the charging was low and I was trying without, without the plug plugging in my charges. So now as you can see, it's, it's a bit charged up. Uh, let's see how much, uh, I think it's 50 percent. Yeah it's 50 percent and above so it's gonna work and i tried with this one again retry completed so make sure you have enough battery or you are plugged into the cable then these updates gonna be updated so check for updates now again and that one is completed which was really necessary and it was showing there the whole time plug in plug in and i just didn't pay attention so just letting you know and everything is fine uh, as you can see it's not giving a restart so it's totally up to you you can restart or if you don't want to restart 
no problem whenever you restart it's gonna go away so I'm just still gonna restart again and show you fully that it's, it's all done so I hope you like this video and if you want me to make any other videos on any other topic or any other issues please uh, let me know in the comment below I will make sure I will make those videos as soon as possible to help you and you can even uh, if any other issues happening let me know I hope you like this video and you're having a really great day thanks very much and enjoy your day Just watch.